Hello. If you've not come across Shabazz Ali, Shabazz Says, uh, then I'm afraid your life hasn't quite made the right turn yet. And he's produced a little book called I'm Rich, You're Poor. Uh, if, you're, if you're on Instagram, Shabazz Says, look him up. And I, w I was looking through this. He was on the third series of The Circle, so we got to know each other. And once I got through the some some of the um, terminology, like povo, what is povo? I've worked it out now, <laughs> and there, there are some really brilliant moments. And I I'd, I'd like to um, talk about one because I think I think he hits the nail so firmly on the head, and he's talking about social media, and about the difference between leisure and work and how social media is so desperate to see a contrast between the two. Um, and he says, I really believe at this time, again, this is a special case. Work and productivity are presented by social media as the worst things on there. I await your suggestion for something better, or should that be worse? And he's absolutely right. There is an assumption that everybody has a holiday. There is an assumption that work is something that you do um, because you are miserable and because you have to do it. And I, I, I know my work is something that I do because I want to do it and because I find it empowering in and of itself and because I feel that, you know, there's only so much time uh, available before one, one has to shuffle off this mortal coil and one wants to leave something behind and it's not going to be money. It's going to be product, the the um, something one's made, something one's produced, something one's created. That's work. And anything I find get, that gets in the way of real work is irritating. But real work is about is about um, learning how to meet your deadlines, learning how to produce what you say you're going to produce, learning how to keep your word. And there are so many social skills involved in that process that I think social media has its place in work. Social media helps you to learn how to work better. And there isn't a contrast between work and play. The two things are the same coin. I don't even think they're flip sides of the same coin. They can be mistaken for each other. And work and play, at their best, are interchangeable commodities. But please, check out Shabazz Ali's book, I'm Rich, You're Poor. It's well worth the buy, it's well worth the read, and you'll learn such a new vocabulary. Well done, Shabazz.